Today I'd like to show you how to play When the Levy Breaks by Led Zeppelin. I'm tuned to G, G, D, G. If you want to play along with the record, you want to tune F, C, F. This song, in one sense, is kind of easy because you're strumming all three strings all of the time. Except for that little lick, which I'll show you later. However, rhythmically, it's quite complex. So what happens is you start off with the three, and then you have zero, zero zero. But how you get it to sound right is you go down on the three, up on the first zero, and then down on the next zero, and down again. Okay. As you speed it up you can hear how it sounds right. Immediately gets that feel. Now before we hit three again, we don't go down up again, but it's not, um, it's the same speed of course, because you're going down and up the same speed all the time, but it's not as pronounced. It's just a little down up at the end of it. And then we have three again with the down stroke. Then we have the up stroke on the zero, down on the zero, and then up on the three, then down on the zero, up, and then down on a five. Confusing? Here, I'll start from the second three with the down stroke. Down, up, down. And then we keep on going. We don't pause like we did the first time. So that's down, up, down three on the up and then down up and then the five brings us to a down. Okay, I'm going to stop talking about it and just try to play it slow and speed it up a bit so you'll see what's happening. So basically, most of the time, my right hand is just going up and down. There was one time right there where you didn't hear an upstroke. Two downstrokes. And then uh, you don't hear an upstroke again. And then up, down, up, down, up, down. So as annoying as that seems, if you practice that slow, you will get the right feel. Okay, the next part of the song is much more straightforward. You go a slide up to eight, and you go down, up, down, and then a quick down, up, and then a slide up to 10, down, up, down, down up. Okay, I'll do that for you. That's a lot easier. And those last little down and ups, I know they sound like they're as important right now because I'm playing at a low volume and I'm going slow, but they aren't. Like you can barely hear them when you get going because they're just sort of filled, but they are there. It's really straightforward. Five, three, five, zero. I find myself doing downstrokes because all those chords are really equally important.
doesn't have the same feel as like the beginning of the song where different accents were more important. Yeah, so all downstrokes I think is the way to go on that. Part three is very straightforward. You go up to fret 12 and you go down, up, down. Fret seven, same thing. Fret five, same thing. Down twice on 10 and then down on 12. So if you want to do that little lick I'm doing there, it's not the same as what's on the record, but it kind of sort of serves the same purpose, I guess. So I start on 12, slide down just about to 10. Um, the reason I say just about is because it's fairly quick. So I don't quite make it down there, but the ear sort of, sort of fools the ear. And then 12 in the middle, 12 on the high again. I do the same thing on seven, same thing on five. Well, I hope you have a lot of fun with that. Have a great day. Bye.